first day three in the Betway Premiership. It's the team in blue, the 14 time champions. Seven times in a row they've won it. He also in dictating the tempo of the game. It's the 57th meeting between these two sides in the PSL era. I already referenced to what happened the last time Mamelodi Sundowns came here. An extraordinary game of football that uh, saw Chiefs having to play as they uh, opted to do that. Is that kind of thing that they're looking to do? Try and pre put pressure on Sundowns out high up. He counter presses very well, that is Castillo. So in that eight role, both of them, uh, Yusuf Marge and Castillo, will be key for KZ Chiefs. Gaston Serena floating one to the back post here. Is that uh, gone for a corner or a goal kick? It's a goal kick. Miguel will be a target against Amazulu, uh, getting that, uh, that winner. And in this instance, good uh, line by, by Mamilori Sundowns, but good timing of the, of the run coming from the KZ Chiefs late runners. Miguel, the target. Um, he will fall into the trap. He has fallen into that trap in the first 15 minutes of the game. That's his second yellow card of the season, Gaston Serena. Now, Shabala, that's a beautifully threaded through ball. Chivavino is in here again. Chivavino pull, pushing on. Cut back! Just too heavy. Well, there should have been a bit better anticipation. Been asked to the tactics on the game. That high line is not going to benefit them because you look at Shabalala, the reverse pass to be able to find Rangachi Vaviro, the excellent run that is made by Duba. He gives up on the on the opportunity to Duba. That's the mistake that he makes. But good hold up play by Rangachi Vaviro using his body well. He sees there's no opportunity to go for the shot. He then Marcelo Ayende. The ball over the top is a good one, yeah. Morena. Great challenge there to stop him in his tracks. Uh, Patrick Matthews, the danger has not gone yet. Very good defending there yeah, from Kaiser Chiefs. And it. Now the ball over the top again. Needed to get something on that one. Chance here now. It's opened up. And they've got the equalizer. Three in three for Hibero Costa. Scores again against Kaiser Chiefs. As he did last season, he made a cost up. One on. Opened up. They were there, Kaiser Chiefs. And he wasn't going to miss from there. They, they deal well with the first phase of defending Kaiser Chiefs. Matthews picks up that ball, finds Ribeiro. Once he controls, he's on his stronger foot. He goes across the goalkeeper. No chance for Ntuarin goals, but Matthews does all the work. Picks up that second ball, finds Ibero, who goes across the goalkeeper. Any youngster watching, that's how you do it when you're no in chance. an acute angle like that. Well taken. No chance. The second ball. And Ntuarin is uh, forced into a spectacular save. A shot from long range by Ibero Costa. Take a look at this. He's in the mood now. He's finding the pockets of space. Oh. They are sharing those pockets with Tembazwani and Alende. He goes through the laces with that one. A yes. great reflex save by Ntuari. Yes. Good and offensive uh, set play for Mamelodi Sundowns. But if the keeper catches it, he's got that ability to start the attack. And that is it, trying to find Serena. Come back, here's a chance for Reynas! Oh! They have turned it around! They have turned it around! Two goals in four minutes, and a game done changed on his head, turned on his head, hammered in successive games. Three and three, is that upside? It looked like Reynas had gone at a rubber, he better cost a looked upside, but hey, no VAR, that's gonna stand. Where Mr. Ace Moore was spot on is sitting at home watching this game. 
he has noted this down because we need to see it again but a, a, a well-weighted pass to find Reynas on the opposite side of the field he puts it in the back of the net three and three for Mamilo the Sundowns now really as I say that almost gives it away we spoke about the amount of space and time that they were giving to Rivaldo Cosio who we know can take a pass that's a great line now for Chibavira needs to find someone needs support he's gonna have to go on his own Chibavira oh wow did so much great work up to that last point gets encouragement <laughs> I, I love what he's doing but his teammates are letting him down look at this there's no one to pick in the box yeah. everybody's standing behind Tivaviro he needs to buy time buy time and when he's buying himself time he's going to his weaker foot he does not really have a left foot and he's forced to then go with his weaker foot that's why he gets it hard. that was an, uh, an intentional as we approach the hour mark here I'm sure those changes we were talking about yes Chivaviro again out muscling his man Chivaviro oh my word he went for power they went for power instead of precision and he's done such great work here this time is Grant Kakan out to muscles him he bulldoze him go across the goalkeeper that's what you need to do but, but for me foot. I thought Ronan Williams could have come out a little bit earlier because there was a point where I thought he pushed the uh, Fundo Villarazzi, that might be the first to come on the first this uh, free kick. Floated in. Oh, what a, what a header! What a save from Africa's best! Ronan Williams! Wonderful football around. Beautiful header coming to connect. Like football by Serino. He, we saw him last season with those late runs. That is Castillo. He has got a goal written all over that area. But what about the positioning? The reflex save. Bafana Bafana captain. Africa's number one. The man with 30 clean sheets. Now, Reynas. So too much of it. Oh, that was offside. Uh, so Patel, he played that ball delightfully into the corridor of uncertainty. As, as we look at that corridor of uncertainty, is the ball played between the last defender and the goalkeeper. That's what the corridor uh, the corridor that TT is speaking about. A delightful ball for Peter Shalunile. He just went a little bit too early, but that uh, uh, cross up. Okay. He's, uh, he's slowly but surely regaining his confidence, which I thought had taken a bit of a knock. There's a flag, a stay down. Two players in here. One on one. Two players. Can't finish it. Oh, the block again on the line. Oh, the ball on to do. Did you believe they've run out of gas? <laughs> a poor touch for you. They have as well, does the Ignacio Miguel. Now. Fundo, Villaraz works it wide. Frostler! Oh, miss cue. A miss cue from Castillo. What a chance that was again. Beautifully cut back by Frostler. And it's a, he's trying to show him maybe how you do that. Wrap your boot around that. He took his eye off Steel. I will give him credit first for the late run that he makes into the box to find the space to receive a good cut back uh, coming from Frostler. He miss kicks it a little bit. That is uh, Castillo. Swap the track suit for the Armani suit. Sayle, now. Nice touch. Can he keep his run going now? I said. It's done well. Modi playing it back to him. Modi wants it back. William Modi. Full of Lagas. Old Ricardo, they call him. Hangs one back to the back post. No one arriving there. A late goal. Ronwen Williams. Ronwen Williams, you miser. At full stretch. How do you keep that out? Castillo doesn't know what he still has to do to beat this man. I said I'm seeing the same Castillo from last season. The late runs into the box. Fundo Villagas, an excellent ball to the far post. Late run by Castillo. Ballon d'Or, are you watching? Yeah. Ronwen Williams in goals for Mamilo Rizandas. Polish that Yashin trophy to get Polish. to this man. Wow. Ronwen Williams showing his quality. Great work from Fundo Villagas, by the way. And from this man, that's actually a very good football. Now, could be a chance again here. Yeah? But uh, it's that man again. <laughs> Where is Omutau? No. Showing his quality. Show sure, whatever was happening between him and the technical team is all forgiven. All is forgiven. What a what tackle. A tackle. Oh. Game saving tackle. Bring it up again. Back here, and uh, well, uh, it fell to probably the wrong man, uh, Bradley Cross. 
You need to get it into the box. Floated in by Blagaze. It's a decent box! <laughs> The referees are gonna get a mouthful here. Yeah. Offside. Offside. That was the I'd like to have it. Oh, I think in front of the offside there was a, a maybe a foul off the ball there. There's a man down there, you can see. But I don't know. It'll be what the decision has been made. The ref my some unruly elements and uh, frustration getting the better of them. Ntuari floats it up. The referee continues. Blows the whistle. It is done. It is over.